Hi there, my name is Terry and I love cycling. Well, most of the time anyway. Today's video is about one of those events that might temper your passion for the sport. You're riding along without a care in the world. There's a small hill, you stand up and decide to change down gear and then crunch. You quickly come to a halt. You jump off and look down at the rear wheel. Oh dear, the gear changer's dangling down on the floor. Something has caused the gear changer to twist round and for the gear hanger to break off. What's the get you home hack in this situation? Well, it's to turn your bike into a single speed. This video is a warning about how not to set up your bike as a single speed. First, you want to remove the gear changer and secure the cable so it's not flapping around. Next, choose which chain wheel and sprocket you're going to wrap your chain around in order to give you the appropriate gear. Then you need to shorten the chain so that it's just short enough to go round those chain wheel and sprocket. There are four issues here that may conspire to cause problems. Firstly, your chain and cassette are actually designed so that they will derail. That's why it's called a derailleur. Inevitably, the chain will be a bit slack because you don't have the adjustment at the rear dropout. Thirdly, your bike will be shaken around by road infections and maybe your riding style. And finally, your chain likes to run straight. If you set up your chain like this, typically going from the small chain ring to a small sprocket, the chain will naturally angle outwards. Because the chain's a bit slack and you'll be going over bumps, there's a very real chance the chain will try to straighten up and therefore jump up one or maybe even two sprockets on the cassette. Of course, then the chain will be too short and something will have to give. If you're lucky, the chain will snap. If you're a bit more unlucky, the hub axle will bend. And if you're really unlucky, and particularly if you're riding a very lightweight frame, the chainstay will be compressed to such an extent that it will break. It'll crush just like you can crush a Coke can fairly easily. Luckily, I haven't experienced this myself, but I have seen a chainstay that has been crushed like this. Of course, the frame is then ruined. It's usually much safer to set up the chain like this, with it on the large chain ring and somewhere in the middle of the cassette. As this is set up here, this is actually the same gear ratio as in the how not to set up your chain example. If you want to be really safe, set up the chain like this so that it bends inwards towards the centre of the wheel. Then if the chain tries to realign itself, it will almost certainly jump to a smaller sprocket and therefore not cause the problems with the chain tension. I hope that you never have to find this advice useful. From me, for now, it's goodbye.